everyone. My name is Natasha Eliza. Today, I'm going to introduce to you guys about this one new condenser dryer from Toshiba. TDK90MEMSK. So, we're going to start with my favourite part. Unboxing time. But I think this box is too big for me to open it alone. I'm going to ask for this two superheroes help. Hi, can you guys help me? All right, awesome. Okay, now for the installation part. First, we have to take the wet cloth and wipe it inside the drum dryer. Second part, take the plug and switch on. That's the installation part. If you guys buy this condenser dryer, you will also get the warranty card and you can also register at toshiba.com.my. The capacity of this dryer is 8 kg. Wow. Okay, before you guys think that I'm lying to you, come look at the scale. It's 8 kg, guys. So I want to put all this shit in the dryer. Ta da! 8 kg. A lot of clothes. So let's dry it. On. So now I'm going to show to you guys the difference between the condenser dryer and the venting dryer. The condenser dryer, it doesn't release hot air but it releases hot air through the dryer. So you can put this dryer anywhere, even in a small cabinet. But the venting dryer, it has to release hot air through the hose behind here and it has to go to an open air. So that's the difference between the condenser dryer and the venting dryer. Okay, so I want to tell you this one story about my old dryer. My old dryer, it has one problem that I have to check my clothes. Is it dry or not? Every hour, I have to check it. It's annoying. And this one time, I leave it like a longest time ever and my clothes is still moist. And this condenser dryer, it has one specialty. It has sense dry. So I don't have any problem to check it anymore because it will stop when the clothes are perfectly dry. That's one more special thing about this dryer. This dryer has anti-crease. So, if you guys don't know what's the meaning of anti-crease or you don't know what use of it, okay, let me show you an example. Let's say maybe I have to go to work and maybe I have to come back late and there's no one at home that can take out my clothes for me. So, I'm going to set the anti-crease for 30 minutes. After it dry, it's still going to spin so that my clothes won't get wrinkled. Mm, so, that's the use of anti-crease. Now, let's talk about the control panel. Switch it on first. And then, you can use the knob 
to choose whichever setting that you want. See, you got a lot of setting over here and here. And then maybe you want to use your own timing. You don't want to use the timing that is already set in the dryer. You can use warm or cool. And then you can press time dry. See, you can see the timing over here and pick whichever time that you want. And then if you want to see what's happening to your clothes, you can on the lamp. Lamp on, lamp close. About the sound, maybe some people don't like the sound. No worries, you can put it on silent. Ta-da! No more sound. So if you guys already chosen all your settings, don't forget to turn on play. And let it start. So that's the control panel. Now I'm going to show to you guys the function of this condenser dryer. So now I'm going to dry my clothes using the cotton function. Even cotton, you can put any kind of clothes, even your jeans and your towel. So let's switch it on. As you can see, the default setting is straight to cotton. Okay, if using cotton, I'm going to increase the intensity to cupboard dry. And I think I'm going to make it more special. So I'm going to add on more 3 minutes using the fine adjust. See, 3 minutes. So, let's start it. Okay, now my clothes are done. So let's see how warm it is. Oh, wow. It feels so hot and fresh and comfortable. So let's start with auto. So I'm going to dry up my clothes. Before you guys put on your clothes in it, flip it over so that your clothes label won't be damaged in the dryer. Please check your label clothes if it can be dry in the dryer or not. If using auto, you can put any kind of clothes, even your jeans and your towel. As you can see, that my clothes is not that many, so the dryer will dry more faster. Got it. Auto. And I'm not going to change the time because I know the sense dry will stop when my clothes is perfectly dry. Let's start it. So, my clothes are done. Let's check how warm it is. Oh my god, you guys! My towel, it feels so warm, soft and comfortable. Okay, now I'm going to dry my work attire. So, I'm going to show you guys how. Alright, let's put it in. Was it? Okay, put it on shirt setting. So let's say if I have to go to work and maybe come back a little bit late and I'm scared if my clothes got too wrinkled. So what should I do? Okay, I'm gonna increase my anti crease to two hours. So when the clothes are dry, it will still rotate every 10 minutes to 2 hours to reduce the wrinkleness. So, let's start. Alright, my work attire is done. So, let's see how warm it is. Ah, it's warm, it's nice and it doesn't wrinkle really bad. I just washed my blankets and now I'm going to dry it up using the bed linen function. Okay, switch it on. Go to bed linen. My blanket is too thick so I'm going to make it extra dry. So I'm going to go to intensity and change it to extra cupboard dry. Start. So the blankets are done using bed linen mode. So let's see how warm it is. Oh wow, it's perfect, it is warm, so we can start using it. 
Okay, so now I want to dry up my spots attire. Let me show you guys how. Before you guys put your spots attire into the dryer, please check if the materials is suitable for the dryer. Switch it on and go to spots and stack. Easy. Alright, so my spots attire is done. So let's see how warm it is. It is perfect. Okay, now I can go to the gym. Now I'm going to dry up my jeans. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Okay, before you put your jeans in it, please flip it over so that the button won't hit the drum dryer. And make sure this button like this, okay, that the jeans can dry perfectly. Put it inside. So let's switch it on and go to jeans. Okay, I think I'm gonna make it extra dry. So I'm gonna change the intensity to extra cupboard dry and start. My jeans are done, so let's check how dry it is. It is so warm. It's perfect. I wish that you guys are here to try it as well. Now, I'm going to show to you guys the sterilization function. Okay, sterilization is to eliminate bacteria on your stuff. And the best part is it works on dry or wet stuff. Example, this one. This mat is dry but maybe has bacteria on it. So, you can just throw it in the dryer and use the sterilization mode. Next, stuff guys. Just now, I already washed it because I want to give the kids to play it. But I'm scared there's a lot of bacteria on it. So now, I'm just going to dry it. Stop. So, that is the sterilization function. Oh, wow, it feels so warm. I'm going to show to you guys how to use synthetic function. Okay, so I'm going to put all my polyester clothes in it. Even my thin fabric. See? The one that easily tear. Other than that, you can put your socks. Let's close it up. Too synthetic. Because of the fabric is quite thin and easily wrinkled, so it is set to anti-crease to 60 minutes. So, after it is dry, it will rotate every 10 minutes until 60 minutes to reduce the wrinkleness. My clothes are done, so let's check them out. Oh, it is warm and it's not wrinkled. Wow, okay. I have to dry up my wool jacket. So let's dry it up. Switch it on and go to wool. So don't you guys worry because it's already have the timing set. Start. Perfect. So now I can go holiday wearing my wool jacket. So, my clothes have been in the closet for quite some time now and it has funny smell on it. Mm. So, I'm going to eliminate it by using the cool function. I can also use the cool function to dry up this kind of material that has stickers on it. So, I have this silk material that I always hand wash it and then dry it outside. But now... With this dryer and with this cool function, I have no problem drying it. So it makes my life more easier. Before you dry it up, please put your silk stuff in the laundry bag and then zip it, put it in the dryer. Cool and just tight. So my silk material is done. So let's see how it goes. It is dry. It is perfect and there's no damage on it. 
So let's dry up the clothes. If you guys want to use the warm function, you have to separate the thin and thick clothes because thick clothes it take more longer time to dry up. And please don't forget to flip it over. The design won't be damaged. And check the label if your clothes can use to dry in the dryer or not. Let's switch it on. Add warm. And then press the time dry and put it to 40 minutes and stir it. Alright, so my clothes are done according to my time. So let's see how warm it is. It's perfect! It's warm! It's comfortable! The Cordesa dryer has three more special features. Okay, first is memory. Memory is the side program that we always use. How to use memory? Use the program selector to select the required program and other drying functions. Press and hold the intensity and anti crease button for 3 seconds until the bit and the required program has been saved. Turn the program selector to the memory position. You can start your favorite program. If you want to change the memory settings, repeat the above two steps. And second is child lock. Child lock is to prevent from the kids to play with the buttons over here at the control panel. I'm going to show to you guys how to use child lock. Number one, prevent children from carelessly pressing button or making faulty operation. Number two, when the drying cycle is running, press the signal and find adjust buttons for three seconds to activate the child lock function. Number three, when child lock function is set, the display will show the child lock icon and all buttons are deactivated except on and off button. Number 4. To deactivate the child lock function, the signal and find adjust buttons shall be pressed for 3 seconds. And third, delay. So, example, maybe I'm using auto, but I don't want to dry it right now. I want to dry it around 3 hours later. So, I'll press delay to 3 hours. And when the 3 hour reaches, it will dry up my clothes. I'm going to show to you guys how to use delay. Number 1. Load your laundry and make sure the machine door is closed. Number 2. Press the on and off button, then turn the program selector knob and select the desired program. Number 3. You can select the anti-crease function according to your need. Number 4. Press delay and button. Number 5. Continue press delay and to select the desired delay type. Number 6. After the play button is pushed, the dryer is at the run condition. The drying procedure will be automatically finished when the present time is over. Number 7. If you push the play button again, the delay function will be paused. Number 8. If you want to cancel the delay and function, please press on and off button. When the delay program starts, the time starts to count down on the display and the delay icon blinks. Okay, so I want to share some tips with you guys about this dryer. Okay, first one. This dryer is 8 kg. So please, please don't overload it. Okay? Nah, -uh, no. Alright, second. Please do not put your wet dripping clothes in it because the dryer will get damaged. Hmm, nah, don't worry. And third. Please check your clothes label if your clothes is suitable with the dryer or not. Maintenance Clean the lint filter. Number 1. Open the door. Number 2. Take out the filter. Number 3. Open the filter and remove the fluff on the filter. Mm -hmm. 
you can clean it in the water. Number four, dry the filter thoroughly before installing it back. Note, the lint accumulated on the filter will block the air circulation which will cause the extension of drying time and increase energy consumption. Therefore, the lean filter shall be clean after each use. Take notice of the correct orientation before to insert the lean filter. Do not operate the dryer without the lean filter. Clean the lean filter after each use to prevent lean accumulation inside the dryer. Maintenance Cleaning and care Empty the water container Number 1. Pull out and hold the water container with two hands Number 2. Tilt the water container, pour out the condensate water into the basin Number 3. Install the water container Warning, empty the water container after each use. Once the water container is filled completely, the program will be paused and the icon will light. After the container is emptied, the dryer can be restarted by pressing start or pause button. Do not drink the condensate water. Do not use the dryer without the water container. Maintenance Cleaning the heat exchange, lift the dryer to cool down Residual water may leak out, place an absorbent cloth under the maintenance cover Number 1. Unlock the maintenance cover Number 2. Completely open maintenance cover Number 3. Turn both locking levers towards each other Number 4. Pull out the heat exchanger Number 5. Flush the heat exchanger with water to remove lean. Let the water drain properly Number 7. Reinsert the heat exchanger, the handle at the bottom. Number 8. Turn both locking levers. Number 9. Close the maintenance cover until it locks into position. Please clean the heat exchanger approximately once every 3 months if frequently used. Do not damage the heat exchanger. Warning! Clean with water only. Do not use hard or sharp edges object. Do not operate the dryer without the heat exchanger. Mm, it's the end already. But anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed learning about the condenser dryer TDK90MEMSK from Toshiba with me. Okay, happy drying people. Bye-bye.